So this is a, a cool AI agent that I have built because whenever I was uh, applying to jobs, uh, every job asked me to put a CV, a personalized message that why I would like to join that company, right? So for that, I needed to write CV, a personalized CV for every job. So I tried to automate that stuff using my AI agent. I provided a job uh, JD uh, link. So this is the link that I provided to my AI agent. It went there. It scraped this complete web page uh, containing the JD information, job description information. And then I also provided it uh, a resume. This can be my resume. So I provided this resume. So you can see that it scraped that complete web page. It structurized it in the form of a markdown file, whatever uh, is requirement uh, for this job. Then it also took my resume. Uh, I provided a sample resume for now. It scraped that complete PDF, converted into text and also to a structurized markdown. So now I have a markdown of the JD and my resume. Now I, now I only need to write a, a CV. So my agent, uh, AI agent also write a personalized CV that why I am suitable for this job using uh, the markdown that it got from the previous steps, uh, JD scraping and resume scraping. Okay. And then it also provided me the sample most likely questions that I could be asked in the interview. So this is a very cool AI agent that I have built and I'll be giving you this complete code. Don't worry about it. And we'll, uh, we will also be doing a code walkthrough. So yeah, this uh, AI agent is divided into four uh, tasks or like four steps. First of all, I need to scrape the JD web page. So web scraping, then I need to extract the text from the PDF. So PDF reading, the next thing will be CV writing fourth, uh, third task. And then the fourth task is to uh, produce or generate the most likely questions for this interview, for this resume. Okay. So this is the AI agent that we need to create today. But before we move forward, I would like to take some time and tell you about a new discord channel that I have started. Many of you were asking that, Hey, Akshit, we have some doubts. Uh, we want to know some of the hiring opportunities, or we want to showcase our projects. We are looking for some employers and founders to talk to. So I have created this new discord channel. Currently nobody is in this channel. And from today I'm launching this discord channel. So do join it and let's see what we discussed here. I have not yet decided what we're going to do it, do it here, but I have created some of the channels and you can be a part of those. The good part is this is a new channel. So I'll be uh, very happy to engage with you guys and uh, clear your doubts. Now, before we walk through the code and I'll tell you how actually I coded this AI agent, let me tell a bit about the AI agents and let's try to understand the basics and the fundamentals of the AI agents that why exactly we uh, need this and uh, how actually we can uh, make all of the cool stuff possible, right? So when you're talking to an LLM through chat GPT, there you get a chat window, you can write a text prompt, you can write anything through the text or you can also provide an image and you give that text prompt to the LLM, LLM also returns you the text. So in this uh, usual transaction, what you have done, you have provided a simple text prompt and your expectation was also in the form of text. So this you can do on chat GPT, Gemini or any uh, LLM window, right? But the thing is we can do more cooler stuff with the AI. We can give some more power to the AI and we can automate a lot of stuff. And for that purpose itself, we created something called AI agents because these AI agents do have the power of LLM. So they do are connected with the brain, but they also have got hands and eyes and arms and legs, everything. So what do I mean by that thing? Basically, we have provided these agents uh, some tools, it's tools like uh, web scraping, right? So if we give it a link, agent is connected to a web scraping tool. It can go to that web page, scrape the complete web page and then summarize it or uh, produce a markdown file, produce a JSON file or any other file in whichever format we have defined. Another example is if we connect this agent with a PDF reader tool, then this agent with the help of the brain will be able to read the PDFs or read any kind of file, right? So this is another uh, use case that we can have with the AI agents. Next thing will be if we connect some third party tools with the AI agents so that AI agents can go through the GitHub repositories. They can write tweets on behalf of us. They can write Instagram posts on behalf of us, or they can open a browser. They can open amazon.com and shop on behalf, on behalf of us. They can uh, read a book on behalf of us and then uh, read it for us in a summarized format. They can do anything if we give certain tools to the AI agents and every AI agent will be assigned one single role. Let's say this particular AI agent is responsible for reading the PDF. So this AI agent role will be PDF reader 
agent or PDF reading expert, right? Then it will be having one single goal that the goal of this AI agent is to read the PDF and generate a summary of the PDF. Next thing is the background. Every AI agent should be given a very uh, straightforward background that what exactly knowledge or what all parameters it should activate. So uh, if the AI agent is a expert in writing CVs or writing resumes, then the background of the AI agent will be that, hey, you are a resume writing expert, you're a resume analysis expert, and you're very good at writing resumes uh, personalized for a particular job description. In this way, AI agent will know that, okay, I am a resume writing expert. It will automatically trigger those parameters in the LLM and in that way, it will perform better and generate more better outputs. And for sure, the agent will be connected to an LLM. LLM acts as a brain over here. This LLM, if you want more reasoning, then you can connect it with GPT-01 or DeepSeq R1. If you just want to perform basic stuff and basic text generation or um, basic stuff, then you can actually connect it with GPT-40, GPT-3.5 Turbo and all that. But as the application of this AI agent uh, increases in width, then you will not just be dependent on one single agent. Let's say if I take an example of my CV writer, over here, one AI agent is responsible for scraping the internet and bringing the JD in a summarized format. Next, AI agent is responsible for uh, extracting or reading the PDF of the resume. Then the next AI agent is uh, responsible for writing the CVs, application notes, and the last AI agent is responsible for uh, generating the interview questions. So in my project, I have four different AI agents performing four different tasks. So you definitely need some orchestration. You definitely need a manager who will be able to manage all of these agents. So there we can use Creo AI. So Creo AI is a very powerful tool which gives you some entities like Creo. Creo acts as a manager, right? And you have many agents, as many agents that you need for your application you can have using Creo AI. And every AI agent will be having a role, goal and background and it will be connected to a task or vice versa. A task will be uh, performed by an agent. So a task will be connected to an agent and agent will be having allocated one simple task. So Creo AI has as many agents that you want for your application. Every AI agent is connected to a tool and it can be connected to multiple tools also. Then every AI agent is responsible for performing a process uh, through a task. So task is again a entity that is given in the Creo AI. Agent is also an entity, tool is also an entity. Right. So you can see that through this diagram that Crew is acting as a manager of all of these agents who are going to perform certain tasks. And then finally you have an outcome. So every task will be given an expected outcome that, Hey, what is the expected outcome from this task? Right. And every task or every AI agent can also delegate another age agent. Right. So this is the simple funda behind Crew AI. Now let's go ahead and go through the code of my AI agent that I have created through Creo AI. And don't worry, I'll be providing my code in this Discord channel. Uh, you can check the link in the description. So what I've done is uh, I'm using Google Colab. Uh, and for this, you don't even need the GPU. So you don't need to turn on your Google TPU or GPU. So just keep it on RAM. And first of all, we need to import certain libraries. So first of all, you need to install uh, Creo AI and Creo AI tools. So let's just run this. So my crew AI tools are installed now. The next thing is I need to import agent task and crew. So I'll import it. And after that, I need to enable uh, the model. So I need to uh, define the AI model, which I want to use. You can use any AI model. You can use DeepSeq R1. You can use uh, uh, GPT-40, GPT-3.5 Turbo. And then you need to define the OpenAI API key in the environments file. So this is how you do it in Google Colab. So I'll just run this uh, cell also. And after that, First of all, we need to define our tools. So let's open this tool uh, box and then see which all tools I have created. So the beauty of Creo AI is that it has already provided certain tools for us. So if you go to your Creo AI documentation and if you if I take you to the tools section, you can see that Creo AI has provided us all of these tools for searching through the docx, searching through the internet, so reading a file. But unfortunately, we were not provided with a PDF reader tool. So that tool you can create on your own, but for reading through the PDFs, you will need this Python library. So I'm going to install it and I'm going to import FitZ. So let's just do that. And after that, I have uh, created a simple PDF reading tool. So you need to definitely import a base tool. If you will extend your tool with this class, then only Creo AI will understand that you have created a uh, extension to Creo AI tools. You have created your own custom tool, right? 
So import this base tool and then import base model and field, which is present in the PyDentic. So you need to have some Python knowledge uh, for creating this project. And after that, I have created a simple class, uh, which defines that what exactly we need from the user side. We need the PDF path. You need this path, right? Uh, the path to the resume PDF. And after that, I have just created this uh, simple class uh, in the init function, uh, which is a constructor. It actually uh, sees whether I have uh, provided a correct uh, path or not, whether the path is not empty or not. So that I have checked. And after that, I just have this run function, uh, which actually extracts all the text from my PDF file. And once it has extracted all the text, my agent will uh, take that text and create a proper structure of that text. Right. But the purpose of this tool is to just extract or read the text from the PDF. Okay. So this is the purpose of this file. Now let's just run this cell also. And you can see that at the end, I have just created an instance of my class PDF reader, reader tool so that I can use this instance uh, with my agent. The next thing is uh, I need a tool for web scraping, right? Because my agent has to go on the internet and scrape that JD web page so that it can understand that complete job description. But luckily we were provided the scraping website tool in the Creo AI tools itself so that we don't have to create a custom tool for this. So let's just run this cell. And again, over here also I've created an instance of my scrape website tool class. Okay. The next thing is the agents. Now I need to start creating the agents. So I, in my project, I have four agents for four tasks. So the first agent is to go, has to go on the internet. Uh, so it, the role of this agent, as I told that every agent has a role goal backstory. So the role of this agent is job description scraper. The goal is to extract the job details from a given job link and summarize the key requirements and skills. Okay. And this is the backstory of my AI agent. Verbose true means, uh, whatever the AI agent will be doing, I, I, I should get in the form of log. So that's why I need verbose and allow delegation false. So this AI agent should not be delegating its work to some other agent. So allow delegation false. The next AI agent is to, has to read my resume PDF file. So, uh, the role will be resume text extractor. And you can see that, uh, the backstory is that this AI agent is seasoned data researcher with a knack for finding the most relevant information. And you can see that whatever I've written is the backstory for this agent. The next AI agent task will be to create personalized CVs. So a role will be CV writer, write a short note on why the candidate is suitable for a job role. This is what CV means and application note means. And the last AI agent will be agent for interview help. And this AI agent has to generate some list of questions for this resume and for this JD. Okay. Now our agents are ready. Now our task is to create the task, uh, and allocate a particular agent for each task. So the first task is, uh, you can see that I'm using the Creo AI task class. The description of the task is the scrape uh, job posting from a given URL and provide the URL in the curly bracket so that it's, uh, it acts as a placeholder and summarize the required skills. And we are going to provide this JD URL, don't worry. This is the expected output from this JD scrape task, a summary of the job posting including required skills and responsibilities. This summary of the JD will be used by the CV writer agent to generate a personalized application note for this JD. Okay. The next task is to extract or read my PDF file. So this is the description. This is the expected output and agent is resume analyzer agent, which I created above. And this is the tool. So you can see that for every task, I'm also assigning certain tools. So JD scrape task will have a tool of scraping website tool and resume text extraction will be having a tool of PDF reader tool. The next task is for CV writing. So this is the description for writing a personalized short note on why a candidate is suitable for a job role. And this is the agent CV writer. The last task is for writing the questions, list of questions, which are most probable for this job. And this is the agent interview expert. Finally, I need to create my manager, which is called a crew in crew AI. And this crew is just a simple class, which takes the agents parameter with all the agents in the sequential order. So the first agent should be that should be executed is JD scraper then resume analyzer, then CV writer, and at the end interview expert. So that's how I've defined my agents in the same order. I've defined my JD, uh, my task memory true so that it can save the memory and it can use it whenever it needs and verbose true for logging purposes. Finally, I need to provide my inputs. So I have two inputs in my uh, task. One is JD URL. Uh, so this is the web page URL of my Google careers page. And this is the resume path, which is over here, resume.pdf. 
as soon as i run that uh, so let me let me just run all the cells i forgot to run all of these cells so uh, let me run from here so now i have run my crew uh, cell also and then you can see that it is able to uh, take the inputs and generating the result so for generating the result all we need to do is you can define your crew uh, the crew uh, object that you just created over here and use kickoff function so kickoff function is going to kick off your crew with these particular inputs okay so you can see that my agent is triggered this is the task it is performing it is going on this web page and it is scraping the complete uh, data from that web page so uh, let's wait for it to complete the execution and then you can see that the next agent uh, which got executed was the uh, resume reader uh, resume text extractor agent and you can see that it extracted the complete pdf resume pdf and it created a summary out of that resume and now you can see that the next agent is cv writer agent that is being executed right now so let's wait and now the final agent which is interview expert great and you can see that this is the final answer of the interview expert these are all the 15 questions uh, it generated uh, for this resume that are most likely uh, to be asked so great this is this was really great and if you want to see the individual uh, outputs of each and e each task you can say result dot task output at zero that means the index dot raw so if i hit this uh, you will be able to see uh, the output of that particular task okay so this is the task for uh, jd uh, web scraping and this is the summary of the jd web page and similarly you can uh, see the outputs of each task so if i just show you the output of the questions that it generated so these are all the 15 questions it has generated great i hope you enjoyed this video my only purpose was to give you an idea that how AI agents can be built very simply nowadays. And in the next video, I will mostly be creating a very cool AI agent that will open my web browser page. It will automatically go through that web page and fill a form on behalf of me. So let's say uh, an old person is there who is unable to fill a form on its own. This AI agent will, can be very helpful. AI agent will open the web page and it will automatically fill the form based on the person's information. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Do join the Discord channel. It is new. So it's an opportunity for you to join it early and discuss with me anything that you want to do. And uh, yeah, if you have any other doubts, uh, do reach out to me on LinkedIn. Till the next video, keep coding, keep learning, and thanks a lot.